no stranger to Muay Thai, Clifton Brown recently visited Thailand to return to the land where it all began. So here we are in Bangkok, the Mecca of Muay Thai, Ratchadamnoon Stadium. Fighters fighting here range from 13 years old all the way up to 35. The stadium, the oldest in Thailand, where it all began. And we're gonna spend our time here at Champions of Champions showing you what it's like in the Mecca, pure Muay Thai. Welcome to Thailand. First of all, Muay Thai is uh, it's a very old martial art, probably one of the oldest martial arts in the world. It goes back to the times when actually Thailand was not Thailand. The name of the country was uh, Siam. In these old days, it was the martial arts of the battlefield. It was the combat sport. You lose your weapon, you have to use your fist, your elbows, your knees in order to survive. It covers the long range, it covers the middle range, it covers the, the close range. Muay Thai is a competition sport with Greensboro boxing rules and the different weight division. It's actually only about 60 years old. It is a very traditional sport. We were at the Hong Kong, there is music playing during the fight. The fighter performed the pre-fight ritual. This is coming from the really old days of the sport and these traditions we keep alive. We have a campaign which calls uh, Muay Thai Against Drugs. The president is the private counselor of His uh, Majesty the King of Thailand. So he's a man of his heart. In Thailand, the standard of living are different from place to place. They must try every possible way to make a living. That's why uh, some of them has gone into this kind of syndicate. Sport can help. This is Tutu. Tutu's day begins at 5 a.m. First, he must go to school, where he finds himself in a constant battle with bullies. Tutu's father also worries that his son will cave in to peer pressure. We pick these kids. These kids, they're going to come and they're going to train the old Muay Thai, the old traditions. And they learn the respect, they learn the discipline. And this discipline we want them to take back to their school. Where their grades maybe are really bad at the moment, or some of them are don't even go to school. So we even force them to go to school. And they start to like it. Like build buildings, skyline, building, uh, uh, speedway, but we did not build successful human elements. I not only teach them uh, boxing, I teach them history of Thai boxing. If they finish high school, they don't have money to go further to the university. I provide them. Yeah. They're not my, 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 my kids, you know, I, but they are Thai kids. If they become good citizens of Thailand, and they will be okay. I for the children and for people in their culture, they're not always aware of how valuable um, a thing they offer to the world. So talking to these children, you know, they, they, you come up to me and want to feel your muscles and see how strong you are and ask you about fights and stuff. And for them, it, you know, it, it's, it's an interesting thing to have a black guy come into the into their classroom and speak Thai number one and then also do their sport and then also do it well so I think um, it was it was a, a great exchange for both of us I think for me it was a surprise the whole the whole happening and I enjoyed it quite a bit and I think for the for the children it was a surprise and they enjoyed it quite a bit as well to have the novelty of someone completely foreign knowing so much about their culture and then at the same time focusing on how their culture educated me and talking to them about education at the same time. So these kids they have the chance if their school grades improve we take them traveling. They go to Europe, they go to Australia, they go to Africa. Uh, 
เพราะเป็นกีฬากิติแก่ผู้แสดงศิลปะมวยไทยการว่ายมวยมวยคาดเชื่อครับ I've been a champion for many years but I don't recognize champions on their belts you recognize champions without their belts they don't have to wear a belt to be a champion